was a good way to start. I had to take it off, I think. Yeah. Out of respect. that this is Grant's. Is this your first panel? First ever. Oh, my day. seen the reaction change at these, you know, throughout the process, but um, I, you, I've seen the fan base, it feels like at least, grow over the past three years. I mean, at like airports and whatnot, I'll, I'll meet anyone from like a five-year-old to somebody's grandpa, and it's like, I love the show so much. <laughs> it's great, you know, it's very, very passionate fan base, which is fun. Tom, did you have any advice for him in dealing with like, con life? Or do you, you were just like, have fun, good luck? <laughs> uh, uh, he doesn't need any advice on that, for sure. Um, they go quite hand in hand, don't they, actually? The Potter, the Potter lot and the Flash crew have, do seem to be quite... Thank you. It's <laughs> <laughs> an early for me, so I need all that help back here. Yeah. I was going to say symbiotic, but I quite prefer yours, actually. Um, what are we talking about? Uh, yeah, so it's, it's, it's a lovely thing. To be honest with you, it is quite a daunting thing at first, being approached by uh, crazed fans. Um, but you guys are all super friendly, so you've made me very comfortable over the years. And... I, thought, I can't even tell me people are here. I thought it would be like brighter in the house. I can't see anything. Can some lights in the house? When they first um, asked me to, to try out for the show, I wasn't I wasn't um, very well well versed in it. So I watched a couple of episodes, which quickly turned into 45 episodes. So. <laughs> and, weekend, yeah, and I was very nervous. To be honest with you. you were. It was funny. Yeah, we were all excited. And he was his first day. He, it was me and Jesse and, and Tom. And you were nervous. Sorry, nervous. It was funny. He was like fanboying a little bit. Yeah, I was. I was. We were obviously. I was very excited to meet Tom. I mean, when Tom <laughs> announcement came out, like I freaked out. I called my brother who's backstage. I called everybody immediately. I was like, We got Tom Felton on the show. Drink the Malfoy. Like. <laughs> I was nervous to be joining this crew that was obviously, you, you guys are very, very tight. The, the banter and the jokes do not stop on that set. So when you're joining it, you feel like a bit of an outsider, especially I was English and I didn't quite get the... You're what? Yes. <laughs> you know, so nice. Oh, look, I was the odd duckling, wasn't I? The one that was a little bit... Anyway, so we went to... Uh, I don't bring most places you go. Well, yeah, but the fun part was you were right. That first first time stepping into the quarter. First time I saw you in the suit, I nearly got teary. Yes, you did, yeah. I still... You look so good in the suit. <laughs> it's a very tight package. <laughs> This is amazing, I have a calling out with suit, like... Yeah, no, it isn't... I, I don't feel, like, uncomfortable when I put the suit on. I, I, I feel pretty good when I put the suit on. <laughs> it's true, it makes me feel better about myself than any other outfit could possibly make me feel better, so it's... Uh, I'm curious, like, 
who causes the most shenanigans on set? Tom Cavanaugh. Yeah. Well, I've never met anyone like him. He <laughs> I'm, I'm very good friends with Tom Cavanaugh. I like looking out with him and his kids. And um, his, his, older, his oldest daughter, Alice, the first time we were hanging at their house, she, he's going off, he's going off, and she just turns to me and goes, This is my life. <laughs> Like, I'm like, me too. Like, he does this all day at work, too, so don't worry. He does have an off switch. Yeah, he has a remarkable ability to find uh, some sort of childlike, innocent humor in everything. Yeah, it doesn't matter whether you're in the middle of like crying your eyes out in a scene, or he just finds humor in, uh, in everything. The world would be a, a much more boring place without Tom Cavanaugh, so yeah, I'm very grateful for that moment. And it's contagious. So, uh, yeah. You, you, you want to fight it? You want to fight it? You're focused. You're trying to my moment before. Professional, professional, professional. It's <laughs> contagious. <laughs> you're working with Tom, other Tom, Tom, Tom Kavanaugh outside of the flash too, right? Like, clearly you really actually like hanging out. Yeah, we're doing this short together that he wrote like a year and a half ago. Uh, and it's really funny. We've, it's this bank heist thing with two kind of not so bright guys, so it, it should be really funny. Yeah, and we're, we're looking for money, so go to the link on my Instagram account, help us out. Thank you. If you need any plugs, I'm I've spent, like, just takes cash if you just want to yeah, yeah, yeah. Money for money. Coins, whatever you got. Uh, <laughs> no, it is, a, it is, I can vouch for them, because I've sat and watched these two uh, uh, have shenanigans or make fun of each other for hours on end, and it is rather amusing. So I, for one, very prompt to see this, uh, to see the show. Tom directed an episode, right? Yeah, yeah. it's about, uh, I think it's the next one to air, actually. Yeah, it's future, so, what's it called? <laughs> <laughs> future. It's too many to talk about. <laughs> Everyone shout at the same time, and we're gonna get it. Future Flash? Future Flash. It's a Future Flash episode in Tom Green. We were in it. How can we? Yeah, but so when, when he takes on a role like that, are you super tempted to like rip him back? Or, you, or do you have to be like, no, Tom's directing the episode, he's in charge now, or is um, it like, this is our chance? Well, it's Kavanaugh, <laughs> so like, are you in that episode? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you are? Yes. Yeah. Are you in Flash? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're in Flash. You're, yes, I am. Yeah, 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 I can't tell. Flash, Christ. Right. <laughs> no, it's, you know, we have a, I personally have a lot of respect for Tom Cavanaugh. So you, you, when he takes the reins, you show him that respect, but he doesn't stop being Tom Cavanaugh, so we're still all going to just kind of joke around all day. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it was hands down the most fun I've ever had making an episode of Flash because he did his homework. He more than knew what he was doing, what he wanted to accomplish with the episode. And yeah, it was just that, you know, we had fun the whole time. It was, it was great. Yeah, I make no mistake, as, as much of a buffoon as he can be, he's by far one of the most um, well, talented actors. And just he, he understands the world of what television and the nature of these shows, you know, the characters inside out. One of the great things was having him direct uh, us is that, uh, you know, sometimes you get a director in and they don't know the show as well as, as well as possible, but as well as him. Um, so he sort of manages to uncover every uh, every opportunity he gets to do something different or something funny. And yeah, being Kavanaugh, he manages to find some, some humor in a lot of places as well, but people probably would. What happens when a director who is like a super fan nerd, like Kevin Smith, shows up and says, Hey, I want to direct an episode of your show? 